In what some expected could be an overflow turnout, only about 90 of the 108 available seats in the meeting room at the Stafford Township Municipal Building were filled for tonight's New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council meeting. Although council didn't have any pressing or emergency action on the agenda for their bi-monthly September meeting, the Labor Day weekend closure of black sea bass and fluke in the Garden State has angered the state saltwater angling community and prompted many to take the time to attend the September 7th meeting. While some expected to see a few fireworks from agitated members of the recreational fishing community, there was only one outburst during the nearly two and a half hour hearing that resulted in marine enforcement intervention and ejection. And overall, the initial debate turned into more of a strategy session as council members and meeting attendees plotted a course of action for the coming months. Adam Nawalski, a longtime New Jersey charter boat captain who serves as one of New Jersey's two appointed members of the Mid-Atlantic Fishery Management Council and also legislative proxy for the state at the Atlantic State's Marine Fisheries Commission, referred to the anger and frustration by saltwater anglers resulting in turnout to what would normally be a sparsely attended meeting as long overdue. My feelings on compliance with these regulations over the last couple of years in advisor meetings and at these public meetings are no surprise. I've not supported the compliance component for a number of years now. I agree that we're between a rock and a hard place at this point in the year. I'm not sure there's anything we can do to make anybody in this room happy tonight. But I have to encourage, again, that what we did with Summer Flounder this year, drawing a line, which I understand some people feel was crossed, but the most important takeaway is we broke ASMFC in terms of their stranglehold on states doing whatever they told them to do. A number of charter and party boat captains from throughout the state attended this Stafford Township hearing on Thursday afternoon from some 63 miles south in Cape May to another 30 to 60 miles north out of Manasquan to Atlantic Highlands. Captain Eddie Yates of the Barnegat Light-based Hunter and a representative of the United Boatmen of New Jersey, which represents the state for hire sector, opened the public comment portion of the meeting by asking the council to make a motion for an emergency opening of the black sea bass fishery. A lot of my members, including myself, need black sea bass open on an emergency basis. We have nothing to fish for as far as sea bass, fluke, since our seasons were cut short. It's open in federal waters. I see a lot of my fellow fishermen out here that have federal permits to be able to go out and catch them, yet we cannot land them here in New Jersey. And this has led to two things. Unemployment for not only my crew, people at our dock, and now I'm getting people telling me that they're going to lose their health. So now we're really in a dilemma. We're sending people to the unemployment office early because of this. And I'd like to see the council take some type of action today, whether it's yay or nay, just to send a message back to Mid-Atlantic and Atlantic States Marines Fisheries Commission that the state of New Jersey and the fishermen are fed up with their nonsense. However, Council Chairman Dick Herb, a charter boat captain himself from Cape May, called it logistically impossible to get the state's black sea bass season open before the federal season closes on September 21st, noting that 13 days is simply too little time given the bureaucratic challenge. Members of the public encouraged council members to consider recommending that the state go out of compliance while taking its chances again with NOAA Fisheries and the Department of Commerce, as was done with Summer Flounder. Herb, however, explained the state of New Jersey had better data on Summer Flounder to make a case with the Department of Commerce and Secretary Wilbur Ross in particular, and said the black sea bass situation was not the same. As for the state of New Jersey thumbing its nose at ASMFC, the Mid-Atlantic Council, NOAA Fisheries, and the Commerce Department, and leaving black sea bass open for the rest of the season without state enforcement, Lieutenant Jason Snellbaker with the state's Bureau of Law Enforcement said that's simply not an option. If they want us to go out there and enforce the closure in federal water, we're going to go out there and do it. I got it. If it's closed in New Jersey, we're going to enforce it in New Jersey as well. Sure. That's the bottom line. You got it. 
At a September meeting when there's typically not much on the agenda, the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council handled a full caseload this month and presented a fairly robust synopsis of fisheries management in terms of what a state can and cannot do on behalf of its fishermen. As several members in attendance stressed, including Captain Nowalski, real change, or what he called, quote, sea change, will only come when New Jersey's representatives in Congress, both representatives and members of the U.S. Senate, get involved in fixing the federal fisheries law.